to decide the medal from this group of riders. Let's run down on them. The German rider, number six, just swinging off the front, uh, is uh, Ulrich. Jan Ulrich for Germany. At the back here, not doing any work. Sensible riding here by 135 is Ozers. That's a Kaspers Ozers from Latvia. He's got a teammate up in front, so why the hell should he work at all? The pale blue, red, white and blue bands of the rider in there is Cesar from the Republic of Czechoslovakia. Just peeling off the front now is Pizix of Latvia. And he's now the two of them together. This is going to be great tactics to watch these two. And then for Italy, Bertolini in the blue jersey. Those are the riders you see. But Bertolini in blue at the back. Just in front of him is the Republic of Czechoslovakian rider, and that's Tizar. On the front, moving through the two Latvian riders, Pizics and Ozers. And then just in the midst of the field there with the, with the black, red and yellow bands going, or a streak going over the top of his shoulder. That's the German rider, uh, Ulrich. This is, I'm sure, where we're going to get the medals from. The gap on my unofficial time check, some 25 seconds. I can't see any way in which they're going to get caught on the running now towards the, towards the finish. So the crowd waiting at the end of this race to see will they be treated to a straight-out sprint finish or we're going to see these riders then uh, on the way in begin to break up. The speed is fairly high indeed. Jan Ulrich comes from Hamburg for the German team. He won the Tour of Bohemia this year. And the rest of the field coming up from behind. Axel Merckx is there. This is the group. And they've got to do something about this one. They seem to have lost the steam at the moment. These are our leaders. Okay then, pick out your favourites. The short, chunky fellow here. 137 is physics. The German rider just off the front. is Jan Ulrich, Ulrich moving through number 56 is Tizar here at the back in the blue is Bertolini and the taller of the two riders from Latvia just drifting off the back again 135 Ozers that's 135 Ozers the taller of those two Physics, the shorter of the two of them. In fact, memory serving, Physics did quite a decent ride in uh, the Olympic Games. Yeah, he finished in uh, in eighth place, Physics. So, and uh, Ozils also, by the way, uh, who's in this little group, just checking what they were doing. In fact, it's Ozils, not Ozils, but Ozils finished in third place. This is Ozils we've got here now. Those are Casper's Ozers, and there they are. The speed at which they're travelling could well be setting the scene for a five-man sprint. There we are, one kilometre to go, and still the five are together. The, the uh, riders from Latvia surely have got to direct the old one-two and switch from one side of the track to the other leading out then jumping across from one way to the other so that one gets a toe into the finish but they're actually riding at the moment independently physics leading through at the moment looks back for his teammate i'm surprised actually the two latvians haven't decided to ease back and Ulrich's doing just the right thing here the german is doing the right thing he's stopping at the back of the pack at the moment up in front of them, Tazar from, uh, from Republic of Czechoslovakia. But amazingly, I can't understand these tactics of the, the Latvian rider. They've still left one on the front, just riding like crazy. They've got a gap of something like 25 seconds. He doesn't have to do this. And there are two of them in here. He should drop back with his teammate and jump from one side of the road to the other. He used to say to the commentator, but the tactics I find a little bit surprising. He's led out all the way through. 
His teammate then is going to get a bit boxed here as a Tesar starts to wind up, but Ehrlich who's been in the back getting a wonderful toe, starts to rock it towards the line. Ehrlich on this side looks like he's going to get it. Ehrlich for Germany takes it on the line just ahead then of uh, the Latvian rider and the one from uh, Republic of Czechoslovakia in second place. So Ozers. Uh, in second I believe but certainly Ulrich did just the right thing Ulrich was just sitting there all the way through he got towed round those last uh, few uh, hundred metres he didn't do any work in the front he unleashed a tremendous sprint so that's a, a gold medal to Germany and I hope my friend Peter Voigt might in fact entertain me to a quiet uh, a Coca-Cola, in fact a tin of Tuberg later on when we finish. Here we go then as the Polish rider thundering on in here just now pride I suppose as far as they're concerned 37 seconds back and uh, Poland coming in to take uh, sixth place that was a cracking race in many respects but uh, at the end they let that luck go away and just imagine what's happened. Oh, down they go! The, the Danish rider's gone. They switch. You see the camera. They've actually got a white line. They're allowed to stop there. And they've actually got a shot in that sprint because just in front of them, the cameramen were narrowing the angle down and they were up against the barriers, but they were officially behind the white line. And uh, so Ulrich, Ulrich, the German having got that uh, wonderful sprint, he unleashed it, well, it's in slow motion, watch him from the back, see he was being sucked all the way into the finishing straight, amazingly two Latvians didn't combine together, and the one who led out all the way through, uh, physics just beginning to fade towards the end, and watch this on the right. That's Oleg going for the gold medal. Battle M was on for silver and bronze between Tezar and on the inside Ozers. Ulrich had got it stitched up and he tried to come through. Hey, the hand is out there and I'm not quite sure whether he just touched him sideways and came inside, but uh, I don't know whether Ozers, I don't think he in fact uh, pulled back uh, Tezar at all, but as Ulrich hit the line, we get it here. The silver medal going to the Latvian rider on the far side, having just touched the hip of Tizar to say, get out of the way. And I think that uh, that will stand. But we'll have to wait and sure see that the judges agree with that because uh, you're not supposed to stick your hand right inside the, the hip of somebody else. That's a well-known trick. You just put your hand in the cup between the, the, the thigh and just in front of the hip and pull yourself through. But I don't think he actually aided that at all. And the usual press come now for, for, for Ulrich, it must be even more menacing than this sprint here. Here we see him on the left, look on the right hand side, a handoff then uh, from Ozers to uh, Tezar. I'm not sure that uh, he'll lose out by that. He wanted to come across, he had to get out of the way of the photographers. Blast, he hits his, look, he hits his handlebars, he's only got second place. Well only, 